Und weiter geht's. Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? You're the only reason I'm even fucking here. You told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You brought me here. You did this. Wow. Come on, Asha. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. You want to help? I'm not going to do that. What are you so afraid of? I was a slave here Not in one? this fucking city. Du warst halt ein Sklave. Mach doch nix. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started. He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. But you had no choice. I did. I decided my life was worth saving. But theirs were not. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me. And you lost, come on. Set of four. I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Yeah. Thank you, little brother. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. And we can spend in. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. I know you won't. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? I have some business to take care of. That's all you need to know. Some business. Just trust me. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. Please, Sarah. I don't know. 
for me. <sighs> Fine. Echt? Das Just hat stop geklappt? making that face already. You owe me for this. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. It's a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! <laughs> What's it, Lord? What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. Stop it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? <sighs> My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! Ey, boy, boy, boy. Mein Auto haben. Wer hilft dem? I can't look at flowers the same way anymore. And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <laughs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Das schon? Ah. Hören wir mal hier zu. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Oh, surely they found who did it. No. Hier they wissen wir es war. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they spared no expense. Mehr lau. Oh. Ja, schauen mal. Oh, it seems so calm out there. Oh, verdammt. Was gibt's hier? 
Look at... Ja, essen was. Ein Stück Käse, oder? Oh. Nam, nam, nam. Ich eire ja. Sarah und Tarek. Hör mal zu, was die so oh, quatschen. Remember, I, I think it was a bird? Mm, close. A cock. That's it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? Und Han? So. Hören wir mal hier zu. Oh oh, nicht so weit. But I know how to spend it. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? So, genug gehört, jetzt kann ich da abhauen, oder? Wer bist du? <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. Do you know what Lord Andros is planning? He's acquired a large amount of gold, but I haven't the slightest idea what he intends to buy with it. Whatever it is, he's managed to get a Lannister involved. A Lannister? Lyman. He may only be a third cousin, but he's a Lannister all the same. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Lannister. So, Andros. Was können wir bei dir? Na, hören wir nochmal zu. Moment, wir machen eine kleine Pause. 3, 2, 1, bis zum nächsten Mal.